Welcome back. Okay, and now I'm proceeding with your paper too. Okay, boys and girls, before I proceed, okay, I just would like to bear in mind. Okay, just would like to give a piece of advice, right? This is the paper which most of the PSR candidates they are getting less marks. Why? I think most probably is because you need to construct sentences. All right, and uh, the other the other reason is because I feel many of you PSR candidates, maybe can also be you, um, you are so afraid of play with words. You are so afraid of um, writing or writing out your ideas. Okay. Most probably, maybe because of your grammar, but don't worry, boys and girls. You still have one more month to go. Okay, do practice a lot. Okay, I am going to share share with you the techniques. After you know the correct techniques, you know what are the do's and the don'ts. I would like you to practice. You still have another month to go for it. Okay, I'm, I'm very sure you have uh, a lot of questions. You, ha you can exchange with your friends from other schools, from other states. You have your workbooks. Okay, now that you know the techniques, you can practice that now. So don't be afraid of the words. Play around with the words. Okay, now, boys and girls, I am going to do uh, question one of your paper two. Now, before I proceed, there are a few questions that I would like to throw to you. Okay, what can you see in your paper one? Yes, you all will be given a stimulus. You will be given a big picture. Um, what can you see in the picture? What actually the picture shows to you? Exactly. Okay, there will be a situation. Okay, for instance, maybe uh, a situation in at the park, maybe the situation at the school canteen, maybe the situation during sports day, alright, it can be anything, it's a situation. So what you need to do before you proceed, before you write, please study the picture first, okay, have ideas, have ideas of what to be written down. Okay, now I want to share with you the first mistake done by DPSR candidates, okay, even, or I can say level 2 um, pupils, is that the moment they, they got the papers, the moment they got the questions, for instance, like now we are doing question 1, they straight away, or you straight away write down all the five sentences. Don't do this anymore. Please spend at least five minutes, okay, at least five minutes to do what I'm going to share with you after this, okay? You need to get ideas first. Don't start writing, straight away writing. You do that, that's the reason why you are getting lesser marks. Spend at least around five minutes because you are given... Uh, you are given 15 minutes. Okay, you spend about 3 minutes. Not to say 5 minutes. Spend about 3 minutes, alright? Uh, to do what I am going to show or what I am going to share with you after this. Okay, boys and girls? So don't start straight away, right? Your five sentences. Don't do that. Alright, as I mentioned earlier on, I have simplified. I have simplified a few techniques which I feel will help. Uh, okay, I will go very slowly. Alright, now, for this question 1 of your paper 2, okay, the most important thing that you need to remember when you read, sorry, when you write your five sentences, you need to write, you need to be creative. Okay, you need to be a creative person. Because you need to give a creative sentence or creative sentences. This is what we are looking for. Okay. All right. Now, this is what I meant by creative. You have to be creative so that you can get creative sentences from you. Okay. Now, for question one of paper two, 
this this actually a combination of simple complex and compound sentences if you can have this three mixture of sentences then you can get good marks definitely all right but if throughout all the five sentences you are coming out only with your simple sentences the most mark that you can get i think the most around five okay that's the reason why that's the reason why if you are getting five marks all this one maybe one of the reason is because you are coming up only with your simple sentences if i right you should have come coming up with these three mixture of sentences all right now uh, this is the do's and don't, alright? Boys and girls, please don't repeat, especially when you start the starting of your sentences. Okay, for for instance, uh, number one, you start with the, the boy. And then number two, you start do again, the girl. You know, throughout the five sentences, you use all the, 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 or uh, 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 uh. So this shows it's not creative at all. Okay, so don't worry, baby. After this, I will show you. I will show you how you should come up with um, uh, a variety with different subjects, with different starting of sentences, so that you will not going to repeat. The moment you repeat, okay, especially the starting of your sentences. This is where this is very important, boys and girls. The starting of your sentences actually is capture. It capture the interest of the examiner. Okay, the examiner that are marking your sentences. If you start with such a boring sentences, you know, you know what, right? Okay, so I am going to teach you how to start off with creative, with um, different, with uh, variety of starting. After this, I will share it with you. Definitely, don't worry, be happy okay words all right together with the picture you will be given how many words exactly you will be given 10 words okay now must you use all the words boys and girls yes or no no how do you know that you um if you, you should not use if you want to use or you do not want to use how do you know that exactly it's from the instruction itself i read out to you the instruction okay write five sentences about the situation in the picture below you may use the word so the word may here may use shows all right from out of 10 words if you do not want to use any of the words it's okay now the mistakes done by UPSR candidates, alright? They do not know the meaning of the words, yet they intend to use the word. Alright, let me ask you something. You do not know the meaning of the words, but yet you use the words. What do you think it will cause you? Definitely, your sentence will be wrong. The wrong usage of word. You do not know the meaning, yet you try to use and it is wrong. Alright, okay, what would happen? Alright, now, this is just to share with you. This is a piece of advice for you. Out of 10 words, I want you to go through all the words. Alright, if any of the words you don't understand, please cancel. Okay, I'll give you an example. Okay, there will be a... This question is based on the questions above. Alright, I will just read out to you the words given. The words given donates, banner, donation, collecting, hang, container, speech, delivering, school, money. Okay, now, let's say this is just an example. Let's say the word banner. Alright, you come across the word banner. Yet, you do not know what is the meaning of this word. So, I would advise you from very the beginning, please cancel the word. Cancel the word. Why do I ask you to cancel the word? Because I do not want you to use the word at all. Because you do not know the meaning. So, what's the point of you use the word if you do not know the meaning? So, at the very beginning, cancel the word. 
Okay, boys and girls, if there are another three more words that you don't understand, cancel them. Cancel them. No problem. Okay, because it's very clear in the instruction, the word me here. So, don't worry. Okay, it's not an offense. It's not wrong. If you cancel it, it's not wrong. It's actually a, a safe site for you. You are doing something that you will be on the safe track. Okay, now, I am going to show you maybe a little bit of different than like what um, you've been doing all this while. I will show to you, okay, we are going to list down the subject first. Alright, maybe slightly my techniques of doing uh, question one will be slightly different. But believe me, I feel it's easier. Okay, because uh, it's proven. I've done it with my my kids and uh, they feel it's easier so after this I will share it with you okay before I share the techniques okay these are the gradings that I promised early on that I am going to share with you the gradings so this these are the gradings of marks of your question one these are the band the group of marks okay uh, the D is 0 to 4 C 5 to 6 B 7 to 8 and A 9 to 10 all right now if you are getting 0 to 4 let's say you are getting 4 okay why is it so do you know why yeah um, uh, out of five sentences not even one sentence is correct throughout all the five sentences all the sentences there are mistakes here and there not even one sentence is correct okay showing that your sentence construction uh, are really really weak not even one sentence is even simple sentence you you just cannot come up with even simple sentence correctly so if you're getting at the range of this mark that's one of the reason your it shows that your sentence construction uh, is really really weak okay what about the c so c5 to 6 here uh, are those who um Actually, you are coming up with a simple sentence. Okay, simple sentence. Uh, and uh, maybe out of five, you are getting two correct. All, uh, out of five, two correct sentences. Okay. Uh, but um, throughout the five sentences, only simple sentences. Uh, there's no mixture of compound and complex sentences. Six, slightly, um, maybe one of your sentence um, there's a compound sentence or complex sentence but still if you look by the whole the sentences are all shows that your sentences are simple so that's the reason why you are getting this range of marks seven to eight all right seven to eight uh, it shows that um, you have the mixture the three mixture of sentences simple you have your simple you have your complex you have your compound but um mistakes here and there your grammar mistakes um, so it's in need that you need to practice more of your sentences and nine to ten uh, this one is a, the good ones uh, these are the one who can come up with creative sentences even this one the high b here okay you can come up with creative sentences it's just that for this bank most of your sentences they have grammar grammatical mistakes okay that's why it brings down to this this range of marks and this one definitely okay not to say uh, all five sentences absolutely correct um there will be slight mistake but not so obvious and with a creative sentences so I think this one you need to know why why you are getting this range of marks all this while. Okay, sometimes maybe you can say um, you have been doing all five sentences, right? You fulfill that, but maybe you don't feel feel that you need to be creative. Maybe your sentences are just simple ones, not creative ones. Okay, boys and girls, please remember your question one. Your sentences make it as creative as interesting as possible all right then you will be in this range of marks or even eight all right that's the reason why you are not getting because you are not creative enough how to be creative again you need to practice okay 
right now uh, i'm going to show to you how to go about okay how to do your question one all right now as i mentioned earlier on my style my method my be uh, something that is a little bit of different like what you have been doing all this while okay now these sentences are based on the above question okay all right now the first thing that you need to do you list down all the five subjects first only the subjects okay i give you an example okay now the first one I will use the word as a man here okay uh, this is a situation of uh, at the school so the subject will be the headmaster right the headmaster that's it that's it don't complete the sentence yet you just come up with the five subjects first right and then the second one since I've already started with the uh, for number one, I am not going to use the again for number two. Okay, this is how to trick the examiner. All right, so I will start off with the. Okay, there's a boy here. There's a boy showing. There's a, there's a picture of a boy here. So, I, I know here. A boy. Use article. Okay, use article a and and the. Okay. Now, number three, you have written down the. You have written down a. Are you going to write the and a uh again here? No, I'm not going to do that. But I'm going to use a name. Okay, there's this question here. Can you use a name? Why not, boys and girls? You are allowed to use a name. But under one condition, you have to describe who the person is. Okay, I'll give you an example. Alright, let's say one... Asma, okay, I am using a name here. All right, can you see that? Okay, comma, a lady teacher. Okay, with wearing a scarf. Not tudong, eh? tudong, tudong, tudong is in Malay. Okay, for Asma, a lady teacher wearing a scarf. Okay, that's it. Now, you use a name, so you have to describe. Which one is for Asma? Okay, the lady teacher wearing a scarf. Alright? Okay. Now, number four. Number four. Okay, now I can use, I want to use a uh again. Okay, because it's not directly after a uh, the number two one, so this one I want to use a. Uh. All right, now boys and girls, you have learned all the features, okay, uh, in your textbook. Parts of the body, you have learned how to describe um, uh, face, how to describe the hair. All right. So when you make sentences, you apply what you have learned. So for number four, I want to use a curly, hyphenated hair boy. See, you learned this in your textbook, right? Parts of the body. Do you remember? So make use of it. A curly hair boy, a, a, a straight hair girl. Okay. Right. And last but not least, okay, let's say you can count. There are three boys. Okay, you can count uh, the picture inside there. You can even write down three. Okay, for instance, for this particular question, three boys. Alright. So, you, I wanted to have a look at the five subjects. I do not repeat. Okay, even if I repeat number four, I don't repeat it exactly after number two. Way down number four, or I can even do it like number five. This is a little bit of trick to trick the examiner. Okay, boys and girls. Okay, the first thing that I will do, list down, list down, write down the five different subjects. Okay, after you've done that, 
you write down the verbs to be first. Don't write down the complete sentence yet. Okay, why am I showing you this method? Okay, because I feel by by following this method, it will be uh, a less, you will be doing less mistakes in your grammatical. So, headmaster, one person is or are, is a boy, is or are, is one asthma, a lady teacher wearing a scarf, is a curly head boy, how many boy, one boy, is three boys ha ah, this one you have to be careful three boys is or ah yes that's it now you have you you have come up with five different subjects you have come up with the verbs to be then you are on the safe side your grammatical so far you are on the safe side now boys and girls to complete the sentence is very easy once you have start with this subject okay believe me it will be much easier to complete the whole sentence okay okay now i show you only i show you one sentence okay subject the headmaster what's to be is okay just look at the picture okay is what you ask yourself the wh questions is what is okay delivering his speech okay when during the assembly at the school so to complete your sentence okay boys and girls to complete your sentence ask wh questions do you know your wh questions your what your where your who your how all right there are five altogether use these wh questions to complete your sentence all right now on top of these subjects okay I just want to share with you you can also all right start off your sentences with collective nouns for instance okay if you do not want to use three boys you can use a group of boys I seldom I seldom come across uh, this sentence i mean question one with collective nouns why don't you do it okay a group of boys is or are is because you are referring to the group it's only one group okay no matter the, no matter how many boys in the group it's still considered one group All right okay or you can mention if you see three you can mention three boys you can even start off your sentence with many. You can even start off your sentence with a few. Okay. Many if it is more than four. Four people, four things, four. A few if it is less than four. Then you use a few. For instance, like three boys. A few boys. Because it's less than four. So you can use a few here. See, boys and girls, how easy it is. You try. You try my method. You start off your sentences only with the subjects. And then uh, don't forget your verbs to be because this is where your grammar part is. Alright? Then only you complete your sentences. Believe me. Trust me. This will be much easier. Rather than... Okay? Right, because I have made a survey. Rather than you have to complete sentence by sentence, you know you are cracking your head. Okay, trust me, trust me. You have to try it first. Then only you know what I'm trying to share with you. Okay, so uh, again, boys and girls. All right, before I proceed with the next section for question one. Okay, boys and girls, you need um. To remember okay um, this is the technique that I want to share with you which I have simplified come up with five different subjects five different subjects means five different starting come up with five different starting okay then with your verbs to be is or are then only you complete it sentence by sentence it will be much easier it will be um, on the right track now on the picture okay again i am advising you 
don't worry you can scribble on the picture scribble means not to scribble as you like but what do i mean by scribbling okay on the picture in the picture itself all right you list down you can list down what can you list, list down in the picture list down the now that you can see last adjective or whatever you can see sorry not adjective the verbs this adjective comes together with the noun the verbs what verbs can you see okay maybe you can see a person standing uh, climbing uh, smiling walking you know this kind of verbs so you list, you write it just beside the picture in the picture of question one okay don't worry you can write it on the paper even though this paper will be sent together but it's okay no marks will be deducted if you write something on in the picture itself no don't worry okay boys and girls uh, this is all about your question one try okay try my method Okay, uh, write down the five different subjects first with the verbs to be, is, or are, ten only you complete your sentences. Okay, believe me, trust me, you will be much easier. Okay, maybe the first time you are not familiar with it, but after quite a few times, you will feel that it will be much easier if you follow this method. So all the best, try give yourself a try maybe this is slightly something different but give yourself a try all right okay welcome back boys and girls now we are proceeding to section b which is your question 2a and your question 2b all right do you still remember our strategy earlier on i've been telling you our strategy question 2a you must get full mark all right you like it or not you have to work for it you have to get full mark all right in getting the full marks so i am going to share with you okay how okay the correct technique of reducing your careless mistakes all right okay um for your question 2a it's not that you do not know the answers many of you you know all the answers even the weak ones okay because i've tried it with my uh, my pupils right even the weak ones okay they will uh, they will be able to get 10 marks what else the good ones right it's just that many of you you come up with careless mistakes okay why does careless mistakes there because you never check your answers you never double check okay so boys and girls please please i really really need you to really check after you have filling all the blanks please do check again okay because you have to put in your head you have to bear in your head that for this particular question you have to get full marks okay, okay if you're scoring for a this section you have to get full marks you like it or not you have to get full marks all right boys and girls so i'm going to show to you all right first and foremost when you uh, when you do this section the first thing that you need to do you need to know what are the three choices given to you okay for instance for this particular questions uh, it is about information okay first one the choice the first one is the science the second one the banner and the third one is the information board so these are the three choices so your job please go through all this information all these three choices all the information please go through before you fill in the, the blanks before you fill in the table, before you answer your to be, you need to know this first. You need to know the information first. All right, now, this is what I want you to get all correct. Not even one mistake. 
not even one okay so before you start doing this you have to tell yourself i must get full marks for this you must tell yourself okay now before you do this there are a few things that you need to know now in doing your 2a these are the things that you need to know please answer top to down what do i mean what do i mean by top to down okay this is what i meant now these are the three choices on top of it so when you answer please answer one by one you finish up all the banner about the banner first then only you proceed with the information board then only you go to the last one not from left to right again please from top to down one by one not left to right do you know why do you know the reason why i advise you to answer from top to down rather than left to right all right this is exactly the reason last time all right last time now the information given to you it's like this all right you have your signs you have the banner and you have the information board all right and um when you come to the table it will follow the sequence you have your the signs you have the banner you have the information board last time but no more now now the question okay um, it's actually testing your alertness yes the alertness of you okay now i want to show you again okay look at this again you look the first one given to you is the signs the second one is the banner right now we look at the table what is the first one the banner comes first the information board comes next and the signs the first one the signs come the last all right if you are not alert enough boys and girls you might answer the banner answers from the signs why because from the information the signs come first you got it do you understand right so to reduce or to avoid from making mistake in answering this in filling this blank i advise you please follow always from top to down okay one by one all right is that clear all right now the second thing that you have to remember look at the examples okay why do you need to look at the examples all right okay now definitely for each each uh, points you will be given examples all right okay why do you need to know to look at the examples there are two reasons for that firstly just in case you do not know the meaning of functions for instance like this maybe the weak ones they do not know the meaning of functions by looking at the examples given at the examples given this will help to get the meaning of the word functions the other reason is look at the examples okay if the example start with capital so your answer also should be in capital if the answer is in small letters your answers also should be in small letters that's it because uh, i understand that sometimes okay um you boys and girls you just you are so confused okay should you write this in capital or should you write it in small letters so to clear that off just look at the example if the example start with capital so your answers the one that you're going to fill in start with capital just follow the example so you'll be in the safe track all right boys and girls are you okay with it all right good now next one i think you in and you out you have been uh, reminded about this rm okay now not only the rm should be sharp pointed but you must also remember that the level of r and m should be the same okay 
Alright, I know all this while you've been uh, reminded that you have to write sh uh, sharp uh, point of M, not this McDonald M, you know, this one is wrong, right? But you have to remember the level of RM should be the same. Okay, what about this? If you do like this, it should sharp pointed. But because it's not at the same level, my dear boys and girls, it is wrong. Okay? I think you are you you know about the sharp pointed M, but maybe you do not know about this level of R and M. So I am just sharing with you all this. Please remember the R and M should be at the same level. Okay, now what about the time? Okay, is that there are questions asking you about the time. It's either P M or A M. Alright. Boys and girls, please remember, if you come across this question, always with the two dots. Alright? Not only one dot. Always with the two dots. If only one dot, it is wrong. You know, you just imagine your answer is correct, but just because of these particular dots, you are putting only one dot, everything is wrong. Right? Would you feel you are regretting of doing these wrong ones? So before you regret of doing the wrong ones, so I am reminding you these two dots. Okay? Because there are some workbooks, you have to be very careful as well. There are some workbooks with only one dot. So now that you know, you have the knowledge. So if there are one dot, you put another dot at the end of M and at the end of these two M's. You should know this. Okay, all right, and to reduce, to get all correct for your 2A, definitely, please be very careful with your spelling. This is why many of you, you do it wrongly, especially if the words, okay, the words is hyphenated. If it's hyphenated, please put the hyphen, or if it should be S at the end of the word. Please put the S. Don't swallow the S. Okay, boys and girls. So, to, uh, to make sure, to ensure that you will not come up with all these mistakes, please, please recheck. Check all the 10 blanks so that when you recheck, you will definitely get 10 over 10. Because this is our strategy. Okay, boys and girls, please remember, this is our strategy. Well, whether you like it or not, you have to get all correct. Alright, so all the best. Please, make sure, practice, please. Okay, just follow my method, follow my techniques. The most important part is the top to down. Because this is to reduce your confusion, so that you will not confused. Okay, so that you will be alert. You will be writing down the correct answer for that particular question. Alright. So, that's about your question 2A. Remember, your M, same level, your two dots. Spelling plays a very important role. Okay. This is just to recap the whole part of question 2A. Alright. I hope uh, you are clear with it. Alright. This is all about it. This is all about your 2A. Okay, the most important thing, boys and girls, please, please, and please, recheck. The problems, the reason why you are not getting 10 over 10 all this while, because you never recheck. So start from now onwards. It's not too late. You have about one more month to go. Recheck. Okay. Now, I am moving on to your question 2B. Okay. Your question 2B. Now, when you answer a question 2B, what is the score for question 2B? 5 marks, right? But I believe many of you, you are getting only 3. Do you know why? Do you know why you are getting only 3 out of 4 or 5 full marks? 
because you don't feel don't fulfill what you are needed okay now but singles when you do your to be there are two things that you need to know there are two things that you need to do you have to write down your points and the most important thing is the reasoning part Okay, this is what the examiner wants to see in your answer. The reasons, how creative you are in giving your reasons. Now, points. Where can you get the points from? Is it again, please. Exactly. You can get the points from the information. Okay, from this information or from this information. Your points, your material, design and layout your function and your location so these are all the points so where can you get the points from from here from the questions for the information but uh, again where can you get the reasons from are you given the reasons no you are not this is where you need to be creative in giving in your reason Again, you remember just now, the question one, you have to be creative. Again, the question two, you need to be creative as well. Alright? So, these are the two things. These are the two things that you need to bear in mind. Reasons. Because some some of you, right? Some of you, okay? You can come up with good points, but you have no reasonings. Okay, um, you are just writing it this way. The price is 10 ringgit. That's it. Okay, you always ask yourself, so what if the price is 10 ringgit? You ask yourself, you don't ask the person next to you, okay? You ask yourself, so what is, is, is 10 ringgit? So that's where the reasoning comes in. Why? Because it's within your budget. Okay, you can pay with your own um, savings. Okay, you have enough money to pay for it, you know? So these are all the reasons that what we want to see in your answer of question 2B. Alright, boys and girls, before you start answering, the most important thing, you have to find a clue. You need to know for whom you are buying this or for whom you are choosing this, whatever choices you are supposed to choose. Okay, I will read out to you. Okay, your school is going to be visited by teachers and pupils of other school. You and your classmates want to help and contribute to your school to make the visit a success. Choose your task and state your reasons. Now, so you are choosing this for what? For whom? For whom you are choosing this? You are choosing this for your school, for your class, you and your classmate. So you need to underline. Please underline your clue here, okay? Because you need to know the correct pronouns to be used. Okay, now, your choice. Okay, these are the weaknesses. Okay, boys and girls, I want to show your weaknesses. Many of you please are candidates, all right? When they write down their choice, I would choose. Okay, for instance, let's say the banner. Okay, you will write down like this. The banner. Everything is in uppercase. Do you think this is correct? You know, sometimes uh, in the information, okay, for instance like this. Yeah, no doubt. You will say, we follow the information. Everything is in capital. But you have to remember, boys and girls, when you write down, when you come to write down the choice, you cannot write everything in capital letters. Okay? So, how do you know that you have to write this in capital or small letters? If it's just a noun, you write it in small letters. But if it's a proper noun, then you write it in small letter. That's it. Proper noun, capital letters. You visit a noun, for instance, like back. Okay, I will choose the back. Back is just a noun, so it's small letter. Alright, okay. Alright, um, when you write down your choice, I would choose, for instance, like for this question, I would choose the banner because, okay, you can start off like this, because of several reasons. Then you start. All right now, many of um, of 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 you based our candidates, they are not so creative. They are so stereotyped, so they will write like this. Okay, let's see the points, right? Material, right? 
they will write down the material is and so forth and so on and so forth and then when you come to the next point the design and layout is you know it's so straightforward so stereotype it's not creative at all my dear boys and girls this is the reason why beginning of this session i have been telling you that they don't be afraid of playing with words okay so instead of writing Okay, instead of writing, the material is what so in uh, okay for instance like white cloth. Okay, let's say the banner, the banner, the material is white cloth. Okay, let's say this is the answer. Instead of writing, the banner, the material of the banner is white cloth. Why don't you write it like this? White cloth is the material of the banner. If I choose this for my class it's the same it's the same it's just that you are putting it in the other way around rather than the material is the design and function uh, layout is the functions are the location is you know it's so bored it's not creative at all my dear boys and girls right so i think this is what you have been doing all this while why don't this time you change it you play it in another way around. Okay, white cloth is the material of the banner if I choose it for my class. Instead of the material is the white cloth. The design and layout is the big colorful words. You know, so straightforward. Okay, now. Okay, let's say this is the point. Okay, white cloth is the material of the banner if I choose it for my class. That's just the point. What is the reason? Sorry? Yeah, okay. Uh, it's easily I can easily find the white cloth. Cloth, okay. I can buy it at the supermarket near my house, which is only a walking distance from my house. See, that's the reason that what we want from you, okay, boys and girls. Remember, when you do your to be, you have to come up with creative reasoning, okay. Not just writing down the points. If you do that the most marks that you can get maybe it's two okay you're not giving reasoning okay sometimes you will say it's not it's not the length sometimes you will say my answers are very long my sentences are very long why do i only get two you know why because you are just putting down writing down your points you do not support your points with your reason so bear in your mind now you have to come up with your reason okay boys and girls i hope this is very clear to you again this 2a you have to get 10 over 10 okay 2b at least if all this while you get only three out of five try to upgrade yourself by getting four out of five how by playing with the words, the sentence, write it in the other way round. Instead of writing the material is the white cloth, you write the other way round. White cloth is the material of the banner. If I choose that for my class, that will be much, much better. All right. See you in the next question. Welcome back. Okay, this will be our last section, section C or question three okay now um how do you find your question three yeah i can see that many of you do not like to do question three why do you know that question three is just a story you are writing just a story right um this is where you can express yourself this is the 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 the, the section where you can really express yourself okay now boys and girls okay before you do your question three there are a few things that you have to bear in mind okay before you do okay just like question one i will advise you don't start writing down sentences please get ideas first okay get some ideas okay you will be given 35 minutes so at least maybe you spend about three minutes get some ideas from where are you getting the ideas ideas from look at the pictures you will be given pictures okay definitely more than one 
okay it doesn't matter if you said three or four pictures it doesn't matter okay just look at it and then just look at all the pictures given try to get what the story is all about okay before you look at the words okay you look at the pictures and then try in your head you try to figure out okay this is the link this is the story that i am going to write after this okay after you get that ideas you look at the words okay look at the words all right now looking at the words it's very important because you need to know what um what tenses to be used this is where um many of the psr uh, candidates they are losing their marks because uh, they tend to maybe done by you as well um they tend to mix the tenses i have mentioned earlier on past tense you cannot cannot get along with present tense both of these tenses they are enemies past tense can only get along with do you still remember past continuous tense present tense can only get along with present continuous tense okay but the mistakes done by upsa candidates to mix the present tense and the past tense and definitely when you mix these tenses you are actually bringing down your marks your band your bending now i want to show you how okay how to um to reconfirm the tenses is it in past tense or is it in present tense okay i'll show you how you look for the verbs okay for instance the word here given the given words are chased okay ran climbed um shaking what else shouted fell dream all right boys and girls want to share with you this is how you confirm to yourself this is how you get to know what kind of no what kind what tends to be used search for the verb okay what is the first verb here chased all right circle this chased is there a verb yes this is the second verb the third verb climbed the fourth verb shouted and the fifth verb fell so from these five words chased ran climbed shouted fell what do you think the tense should be Definitely, this is past tense. Okay, I would advise. Okay, once you had, uh, uh, you you know that this is in past tense. I would advise you before you start off with your story, the sentences. I would advise you to write on top. Okay, on top of your sentence, past tense. It's okay. You can write it on top of it. You write it past tense. Why? So this is actually to remind yourself. Okay. Sometimes when you write down stories, ah, uh, you have especially when you you have a lot of ideas, ah, uh, you'll be carried away. So by writing down the word past tense, it will remind you that you will be on the right track. Okay. So do that. So write down past tense. Okay. This is how. So. When you start with the past tense, all the way through, it should be past tense. Okay, boys and girls, are you okay with it? All right, good. Now there are a few things that you need to know about your question three. Okay, first and foremost, you have to change your mindset. Please don't tell yourself ah, this is the section that I hate most. This is a section that is so difficult. You have to change your perception. You have to change your mindset. Thing. Tell yourself, "Oh, I love this section. This is a story. I love to write a story." Please have that in your mind now. Okay, it's not just sentences. It's not like question one, question one, question two. But you need to write down reasoning. You need to write down sentences. But question two, question three, I want you to enjoy writing a story. You can even add up your own ideas, which is beyond the pictures. If it's not shown in the picture, you can add up your own ideas. No problem. 
Okay, as I say, I want you to be carried away with your story. Okay, if you are carried away with your story, you feel your story is interesting. Definitely, the examiner who is marking your story will enjoy reading your story. Okay, boys and girls. Now, before I proceed, the most important thing that you have to remember is the paragraph. Okay, paragraph. When you do your question three. You have to write it in paragraphing form. What do I meant by paragraphing form? Okay, this is what I meant by paragraphing form. Okay, right. Let's say this is your margin. All right. Okay, this is your first sentence, the second sentence, and the rest. It should be new to the margin. But this is one paragraph. If you need to do more than one, uh, the second paragraph. Okay, the first word should be away from the margin. This is what I meant by paragraphing, because there are still, or maybe done by you. I hope so not. Whereby you still answer it like this. Let's say there are three pictures. You do A uh, last evening, then B, you know C. If you do this way, this is not paragraphing. This is sentence level. This is wrong. You should do. Paragraphing form that you have to know. All right. Okay. Now, paragraph. How many paragraph must you come up with? One, two, three. Okay. Now let's proceed with the question. All right. Okay. Now, before you start, do you need to write an intro for your story, is it compulsory for you to write an intro for your story? Okay, uh, for your information, there will no marks will be given for your intro, but you have to remember, this is a story. Okay, a story with an intro it will be nicer. It will be better with an intro. Okay, so I would advise if you can do your intro, please. But if you feel that you do not know how to come up with an intro, you can just start with your story. Okay, this is just to share with you. If you want to write an intro, what do you need to write? Okay, now there are two things. Okay, you can either write down a character or a story. How do you know that you should write a character or a story? Very simple, it's very easy. Just look at the pictures. If throughout all the three pictures or four pictures, you can see the same boy, the same girl, the same lady, the same man, means it's a character. Okay? So you write down the character of the person that you see in the picture. But if the picture shows something like Hari Raya, okay, it's a story. So it's not a character, it's a story. So you can start, you can write about Hari Raya. And please remember, even though earlier on we we made sure that this should be in past tense, but intro must always be in present tense. Even though, even though I've been telling you that this should be in past tense, but when you write the intro introduction, introduction should always be in present tense. Okay, then when you start off with your story, then only where the past tense comes. In okay, boys and girls, I hope you are clear with it. Okay, now I want to show you how you write an intro of a character. Okay, for instance, okay, let's say this is a system margin. Remember, you have to write it in paragraphing form. Okay, let's say it's about a boy. If there's no name given to you, so you can use your own name. Alright, but if there's a name given, you have to use the name. You cannot change the name. So since uh, this question, there's no name, so I will give my own name. Let's say Aiman. Alright, Aiman um, is a responsible. It depends on the story, okay? Because the story, this story shows he is uh, collecting some firewood. So we can say Aiman is a responsible. Boy or and helpful boy. Okay. Okay. You can make up your your story. You can say that he's he's helping his mother. Okay. 
he helps his mother. Okay, before he does his homework. Uh, right? See, that's it. Just a simple one. Aiman is a responsible and helpful boy. He helps his mother before he does his homework. Or you can add a little bit more or you want to stop here. It's okay. Alright? What uh, The most important thing when you do your introduction, it should be in present tense. And it must be linked with the picture. Okay, if you see the about responsible, it's about responsible. Okay, you you mentioned the value there. Alright, now, uh, come to the story. Okay, let's say this is the... This is the words given to you. Evening, firewood, grow, pray, bushes. Okay, again, I am the, the reason why I'm, I'm drawing this margin is to show you the paragraphing form. Okay, now we are starting off with the story. So, normally when you write a story, you are starting off with time frame. So, okay, remember, it should be paragraphing form. Okay, let's say I start with one fine evening comma after the time frame you have to put a comma okay instead of writing last saturday last week it's so common so why don't we start with one fine evening or one fine morning one fine afternoon okay it's up to you all right then try try to write something that is not so common but if you write down last saturday is it wrong no it's not wrong Okay, so I write down Aiman. Okay, this is the evening, so I will cancel. Why do I cancel the word evening? To show that I have already used the word. Okay, alright, Aiman. Alright, walked. Into the jungle. To get a bundle of firewood for whom? For his mother. Okay, earlier on we mentioned, right? He always helps his mother. So I already used the word firewood, so I will cancel the word firewood. Okay? Alright, then, uh, okay, I just continue reading. Um, his mother wanted to cook nasi lemak to sell around the village. Okay, now, as the day get, the day was getting dark. Okay, this is why many of you, you cannot come up with a, a good and creative starting. So, boys and girls, again, I want you to play around with the words. Okay, not just try to make your story as interesting as possible. Not just write down, um, it's going to be night, you know, it's a night time or something like so straightforward. Try to be more creative, okay? You are going to show that it's going to be night soon, but you are writing it in, in, in uh, an interesting manner. So you can write down like, as the day was getting dark. You know, instead of writing, it's going to be night, you know, it's at night or so on and so forth so you write down as the day was getting dark so we know it's going to be night soon Aiman walked quickly into the jungle after he had collected the firewood he tied the bundle as tightly as he could see the words given only these five words but because you are so creative you can adding in your own words to make it more interesting all right, boys and girls, when you do your question three, what else can you do? What else can you add to make your story sounds interesting? Yes, you can add in simile. You can add in collective nouns. Okay. You can add in proverbs, but don't 
don't add in too many of this all right something that link to your story okay and um, the most important thing when you do your closure you must have your value okay you have you have mentioned earlier on the value helpful responsible you can say that again in your closure okay now why that you cannot get high marks in your century because your sentences are not actually a story you are just elaborating the words given you know what you are just elaborating this word you are not forming you are not using this whole words to become an interesting story okay all right maybe you can ask me maybe that's a question can you write something that is not in the picture why not but as long as it's still about the three pictures okay maybe in the picture it doesn't show there's a swarm of bees but because you want to make it more interesting no problem as long as still about the three pictures shown it's okay because please remember that you need to make it as interesting as possible okay boys and girls try your very best for this question okay try to come up with good interesting story remember in your head you have to remember that this is a story okay it's not just sentences like what you did for your question one this is a story and if you um, do your closure please have value in your closure okay for that i will end up my session i will end up my video okay i hope throughout the two papers paper one and paper two you can make use of my techniques and um, the most important thing please remember the strategy do you still remember our strategy just now that i shared with you your, your paper one you have to get more than 35 you can get more than 35 better still if you can get 37 38 or even 40 over 40 better still and your paper two please go for your question 2a you have to get all full mark for your question 2a i have shared with you the techniques all right and i hope during the exam please apply you remember the technique and you apply what you have been taught by your teachers in school throughout your three years of your level two schooling right your standard four five and six you've been doing the same thing my dear boys and girls all right just that this year is your exam year but actually you are doing the same thing throughout your year four year five and year six okay the problem is that normally okay the exam candidates during the exam they don't apply what they have learned so i hope the viewers please apply what you have learned apply what you have been taught okay and what i have shared with you today please apply it okay for this i would like to wish you all the best for your coming exams especially your upsr okay hope these little techniques from me will help you okay will help you a lot in getting in scoring a for your english okay, all the best for your base r thank you for being patient with me 